outside curler. Peach of a goal, man. Little bit of space there from Torres. Hold up, touch and go. JC6, I know you've been in the stream before, bro. I know you've been in the stream before. That's a lovely sharp finish, man. Right, boys so we are going to go straight into it watch Torres's movement here it's a beautiful pass from Iniesta but Torres is actually deceptively quick and he's brilliant man to lay off a ball we're going to show you the stats to back that up in a second but yeah I mean we got so many chances with him so many chances created very good runner if you've played with Forlan you will know what you're going to be getting with Torres he can actually finish he didn't score that one but it grazed the post but we played with him a lot on our live stream his movement is just really really good I think he's probably a couple of stats away from being like totally meta and he also has an unfair kind of comparison to be made with other goal poachers which we'll get into towards the end of the video but yeah we really had fun playing with him just an absolute lethal finisher up front kind of reminds me of Van Basten kind of reminds me of Forlan kind of reminds me of Dennis Law he's not going to be comparable to Romario Saviola and those run and gun stars and that's what really is working in the game at the moment but you know you get left foot right foot finishes like this it's going to be very very nice to play with him and again you know you can score from everywhere he can score in the air he can score volleys chip up shots like this with the headers very very nice player very very fun player and we had bags of fun with him we had bags of goals we had bags of fun and his movement look at this very direct line lovely pick out and the outside curler finish look at this for a finish it's beautiful into the bottom corner that is what you want from Torres now when we look at his build here we're going to be playing him as an isolated kind of center forward with a running gun beside him I think that's the best way of playing him because Torres can win aerial battles I would not play Torres with collar or somebody like that I would play Torres with a small speedster um to get the best out of him and maybe two goal poachers or maybe a dummy runner either if you a dummy runner if you had one of those or else a fox in the box to have different varied kind of play style runs now Torres I think the big problem with Torres is that he has no AI play style we'll get to that in a sec but also his tight possession is quite low his balance is fine his acceleration is fine speed is fine kicking power is fine the thresholds you want to hit for a center forward a finishing center forward are probably about 85 dribbling, 90 finishing, 90 acceleration, 90 plus balance, 85 speed and 85 kicking power. That's going to really essentially be able for you to score. You're going to be able to score lots of goals with a player like this. And we'll show you the build. 5 into shooting, 0 into passing, 10 into dribbling, 12 into dexterity, 6 into lower body and 4 into aerial strength. That is going to unleash the beast in Torres. You're not going to be able to get the build much better than that, I don't think. Speed doesn't really come into it when you're running straight lines. And he's not going to be that silky smooth uh, kind of running animation either. Player skills, you could give him and I would recommend it because he's got an incredibly slow double touch. It's pretty much unusable uh, with him because he's so clunky with it. I would definitely give him flip flap to get that ball roll. Ribery has that off the rip. If you've missed my player review on Ribery, we could do a deep dive on him. But look at the stats, lads. His AI playing styles, we don't have any there, right? Now, this is going to be a weak point for him. But you look at the stats for the goals and the assists. And he's outperforming the likes of Rummy, Dennis Law, any of those guys. He is at a weak point, though, because when you are comparing him to other goal poachers, you are going to have contrasting runs. You need contrasting runs beside him. You know, you don't want him making the same run if you're playing with Mike Lone up front. You can you can make it work, especially if you play possession. The runs are kind of a little bit nicer. But he does remind me of Forlan and Dennis Law quite a bit, other than Saviola or Michael Owen or Amari or any of those guys. You can see the stat line up here and the stat comparison here. I think Rummy is probably the player that he most reminds me of, except Rummy is a little bit more lethal. But the stats don't really tell that story because we were playing all our matches on Division 1 yesterday against some really good opponents and Torres was just banging him in. Maybe it was just me being, you know, a bit better than I normally am and I didn't really give Rummy a big, a big chance but Torres definitely was banging him in for me and I mean, he's just always in the right place at the right time. When your opponent is slacking, Saviola, we were playing him up front here and he just squares it to Torres. It's just a simple little tap-in finish. That's all you need from your goal poacher. That's all you need from your all-rounder. He doesn't have to be blistering fast and not every player needs 100 speed, 100 acceleration, and 100 balance with 100 finishing. You can score goals in this game with players that know how to make runs and that the AI let make really good runs, such as Forlan, Dennis Law, Fernando Torres, very, very fun player. Plus, he can win a bit in the air as well. So I do give him a rating of 7.5 out of 10, a little bit lower than I probably would have given him. 
Actually, we'll boost that to eight, man. I can't give him any less than eight because I'm not going to let my my uh, Manchester United bias when he destroyed us. And I always remember that clip when he destroyed Vidic. But honestly, because being, being a United fan, I will put that respect on his name and say, yeah, we'll give him an eight out of ten. Let me know what you guys think. It's it's a weak eight out of a ten compared to Reba being a strong eight out of ten in my Rebri review. But let me know if you agree or disagree. I mean, he pretty much just scores goals. And he just kind of is one of those underrated players a little bit, in my opinion. So I will talk to you in a little bit. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. Daily content. We keep grinding and we keep going. I will see you in a little bit. Peace.